We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the President's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. He isn't. I already checked there this morning. We were supposed to meet up here about an hour ago. I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. anything strange at all. Neither has my friend here, and he has a good nose for these things. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. I don't know about that. Okay. Take good care of him and bring him back when you're done. Hey, I heard about you. What? Thanks. We haven't been... I brush it every day. 100 brushes. Bye. to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR, so I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. Bye-bye. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. clear to go on through. Not right now, I'm busy.
Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his bird a bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Hey, is there a problem here? Well, that's too bad. I'm just here to enjoy the show, so if you don't mind. Bad idea. Die, infidel! Watch out! meet you on the observation deck. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his bird a bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Is there a problem here? Then leave me alone. Come back in a minute. I'm busy with security matters. Back in a minute. I'm busy Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like, I'd like to thank, thank you for coming, coming out here today, today for this very, very special occasion. It is, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the, the president of the, of the new California, California Republic, Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, fellow Californians, who have come so far to answer the call the service put forth by the Republic. 
Nelson's back on the you that I have come here. Defend it this time. And, and it's because, because of you, you should that you I be keeping an eye out for anything suspicious? A bomb on the president's vertebrate. Only a limited number of people had access to the vertebrate. We have to get the president out of here now. I'll cancel the speech and have security search the area. We can't relax until we get the president out of here safely. We enjoy our privileges because you have taken the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Born in a tin shack on the outside. Gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for coming out here today for this very special occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, fellow Californians, who have come so far to answer the call to serve as put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here, and it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks we'll an eye out and are prepared suspicious. to make the most noble sacrifices. The hell? This must control some sort of bomb that he was going to use to kill the president. Nice work catching this. I'll have my rangers go deal with this man right away. And it's because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for coming out here today for this very special occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, fellow Californians, who have come so far to answer the call to serve as put forth by the Republic. because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, 
that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Ordered a tin shack on the outskirts of one pine. Jeremy Watson never had any easy. His father was a caravan guard on the short route. And his mother, like many Californians, braved the ruins of the old world as a prospector. They suffered through water shortages, raider attacks, and the Brotherhood War. Like our mighty Sierra Nevadas, they endured. But the time came and they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years ago, they called out for help, and the Republic heard of them. Troopers, rangers, just like you, answered the clarion call. Men and women stepped forward to say, I will carry the weight. And at Owens Lake, we made true on our promise, driving out the raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevadas. We carry the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten, Ten years ago, ago Chief Felice met with representatives of the Desert Rangers, Rangers to discuss terms, terms of what would become the Rangers Unification, Unification Treaty. Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the Desert Rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's Legion and the tyranny of this regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What is Nevada to, to us? Sometimes, Sometimes we forget, forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. borders. Sometimes, Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our borders fought so hard, hard to achieve. We, we must, must always remember, remember that wherever the California stand, we carry our, our principles with us. Equal respect. Representation and protection under the laws of a just republic. This was the same fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. We are the heirs of that civilization, torturers eastward of the Pacific, into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, Jeremy Watson answered, You answered. Together, Together you carry the weight. And when E.F.C. Watson's platoon, platoon came under attack at Forlorn Hope, he, he took the greatest risk. risk. Not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our Republic, even here, on the vast soil. His actions are a meaning to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his valor. Private First Class Jeremy Watson, on behalf of the Senate and people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Madre. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. The men and women who fulfill the promise we made to the Desert Rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers and rangers who carry the weight. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, we drew a line through the Mojave as clear as the Colorado River. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, pushing ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas, defiant and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.
Is there a problem here? I'm not sure what you mean. I think you have me confused with someone else. Sorry, that just ain't gonna happen for Kaisar. Over here! Better show up soon. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Is the president safe? Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of his power plant. Dismissed. Well, you took your sweet ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element a surprise. You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of Legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the eastern bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. Hmm. 
I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. That would grind them up like a hamburger. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but you may need to go outside to activate the manual override. That system hasn't been used in a while. Good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna find a place to not get shot.
Greetings, Courier. We caught word the battle was about to begin. We arrived before the road was closed off. Our warriors are here to assist you. Alpha Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the Legate. How can we be of assistance? You're in charge of this operation. That sounds like a suicide mission, but our orders are to take commands from you. Unit, let's move out. Let's get going. Over here.
And who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. Kaisar's will is made truth through me. I am a hammer against all that defy his rule. If you seek to stand against me, you shall fall as the West falls. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. I have no need to hold it. Anything the West sends against me shall break against the wall that is the Legion. You think we would march without a means of resupply? We have the fort. We will have the dam. Other communities will fall. And we shall harvest as we move west. We only need move forward. There are many towns, many slaves, ripe for the taking as the tribes from the east were. Wolpes brought the touch of Kaisar to such places. It was necessary to weaken the west, show that the Legion could strike deep into the places where NCR thought it safe. But we do not need those towns. Like Hoover Dam, there is the power within Vegas. We can harness it for our needs. Hmm. Long ago, when taking Denver, I had to face such a challenge. Many died over many years to claim the city as ours. It was the lines of food and water that nearly broke the Legion's strength, and the lack of tribals near that cursed city. When I felt in that struggle, I felt as I saw the map of the West. The West is a trap. The bear has already been caught in it, and it is dying. My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, NCR, I shall wait for you on the battlefield. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and does it by example. And what you've done here today, that's gonna keep us going for a while. We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. 
After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run. But I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The courier, fair and even-handed in her dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for her support of the military at Hoover Dam. She was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, and in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. The peace with NCR served to ease Veronica's worries about the Brotherhood's immediate future. Still, a distance had arisen between her and her fellow members that would never be bridged. She began secluding herself in crumbling libraries of the old world, learning of promising technologies she knew the Brotherhood would never adopt. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. Rose of Sharon Cassidy died as her caravan died. In an unmarked grave, another victim of the Mojave. After the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans returned for a time to Red Rock Canyon. The NCR's pressing need to expand proved greater than its promise of amnesty, and before long the government decided the Khans had to go. The surviving Great Khans were relocated to an isolated barren reservation, well north of NCR trade routes. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. With the transplant of Lupa's brain, 
Rex gained all of the donors' experiences traveling with the Legion. These melded well with his own memories of the Legion, and his new mind quickly adjusted to the myriad memories. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the waste, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the majority of the Vault 19 powder gangers joined the Great Khans, the weaker members scattered throughout the Mojave wasteland. Though a few managed to erase their past, most never survived the journey. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.